Christy, it's been a long, tough day for folks at that airport, and a lot of them are, are staying there. They are. The one word I would describe these people are either troopers or weary, maybe a little bit of both. And even though the lights have come back on, there's a little bit of hope. You can see the kiosks are at least now lit up. This one says currently out of service. So just shows you even though all the lights are back on, things are certainly not back to normal here at the airport yet. All of these departure and um, departure and arrival boards are still booting up. There's nothing up there to show yet. But these people, man, these are the troopers. These guys stuck it out all day here at the airport just so they could be first in line here at the Southwest line. They don't even think some of these people are going to show up for the desk until two, maybe four o'clock in the morning. So they're still in for a pretty long night. And as I spoke to travelers today, the one main word was frustration and it's left a bad taste in their mouth, not only about the airport, but also the city. Take a listen. I would never do this again. Like, I would never come here again. Janelle Parks was headed to Chicago, ready to celebrate her cousin's birthday. But instead, they spin it here. And then all of a sudden, the lights, like the power went out. That was around lunch, which they made a point of saying they didn't get. They shut down all the restaurants. They didn't offer us no chips, no nothing. Like, people hungry. We haven't ate all day. Instead, they say they were fed empty promises of when the planes would finally leave, holding on to hope that any minute now the power would come back on because at the busiest airport in the world, it had to, right? We talked to a man over there and he said, you're not going anywhere because the airport's closed and we thought he was teasing. It sounds like a bad joke. And early on, a few of the thousands of stranded passengers had the good nature to laugh. Met all these people here. It's also pretty cool. I mean, you make the best of a situation. Flights aren't leaving. So if we need to get a hotel, we'll get a hotel. Yeah, we're just going to hit the bar. <laughs> We've had enough. <laughs> but as the hours ticked on with no food, water, lights, or announcements, everything got darker, including the mood. I'm very irritated because all the hotels are booked. Uh, it's crazy outside with the taxis. So for thousands tonight, downtown Atlanta is home. And according to Janelle's last update, might be for a couple more days. I was just told that it probably lasts for two days. Now what you're seeing now is the most beautiful sight to the thousands of passengers who were stranded here today. That's the light on the ceiling that's on in that beautiful. That's what a lot of people think. And in fact, if you can look down there, they're actually wheeling out a bunch of lights that they brought in. They look kind of like construction lights that you would set up on the side of the road so workers could see what they're doing. They brought several of those in to try and supplement uh, when the power was out today. But another major problem that uh, passengers were experiencing today was cell phone service or rather a lack of it. They couldn't reach their family or their friends to let them know plans had changed. It was so jam packed in here, kind of like when you go to a football game, you can't reach anybody. And not only that, it means you couldn't book a hotel room on your phone and you couldn't call for an Uber or a taxi. So it caused quite a bit of chaos. Back to you. Uh, Chrissy, at this point, there's still people that are at the airport now. They've been there all day when the lights are out. There's no food, no water. Are they able to get any food now? Did anyone bring anything in at any point during the day? I did see in the atrium there are several cases of water and they were handing that out earlier around the big Christmas tree in the atrium between the north and the south terminal. Now the tough part was that all of the restaurants needed power so those were out so it was tough. A lot of these people went all day without eating unless you had snacks in your bag. Now that power is restored I'm seeing some of these shops get back up and running but it's still pretty late. Most of them work on business hours anyway so most of the people that I'm seeing they're not even worried about food right now. They're worried about being first in line because they know it's going to be crazy as soon as all of these other people who decided to leave are decide to come back. Absolutely. Christy Etheridge has been at the airport all day for us. Thanks so much, Christy.